Welcome back to Good Day State Line. Today we took a trip to Jim's amazing office at Allstate. This is Jim Phelps. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Yes. Yeah, so Jim, tell me a little bit about how you got started in insurance. Well, in 2007, I started with health insurance, and when that landscape changed, I decided to go into what they call PNC or property and casualty, which is home and auto. So I started looking at all the different companies that are out there that I could go with, and oddly enough, Allstate actually reached out to me via email, Ooh. and we hooked up, and it was a really good fit. I think it's the best when someone reaches out to you. You know that it's probably going to be a good fit because they're already looking for you. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We know a little bit about Allstate. We were just talking about this. The sure. logo, one of the most recognizable logos anywhere. So people mm -hmm. do know Allstate insurance, but people don't always know what kind of insurance they need. It's not just one thing. Well, as I got into the property and casualty, I also started to understand more of what's important in insurance, and that is as I like to tell people that have children, you know, when they start driving, it's the scariest moment in your life. But the other thing that you have to think about is when that 16 year old gets in the car and wants to go to town, everything that you've worked your whole life for goes with them. In other words, you're risking everything that you own. And what our job is, is to make sure that if something were to happen, that you don't lose all that. And that's, what's, that's what insurance is all about. So there are different liability coverages you could have and I instruct our entire team to make sure that they always keep the customer, their interest at focus first. Because it's a lot for customers to take it all in without somebody helping them. It is, and we, you know, when we're talking to people, whether they switch to us or not, it doesn't really matter. I have no problem with that. I'm competitive and sure I would love their business, but what's most important is when they walk away, they can at least, if, if we're not competitive or they don't wanna make the switch, they can call their agent back and go, hey, you know what, we really need to talk about the coverages here because I have, I think we're at risk here. Yeah, and that's obviously very important, important to know. Sure. So how are you currently doing business? Because the world has changed. <laughs> we're not in the same place. And that's the best part about your office. We walk in, you know, I see all the Cub stuff, the Bear stuff. Okay, we're not in the same place as when the Cubs won the World Series. We're not in the same place as probably when Mitch Trubisky signed that. <laughs> so right. we're in a different part of the world right now dealing with um, the coronavirus outbreak and what's going on. So how are you dealing with your clients and your customers? Great question. When, it f when the virus first came out, uh, I talked to my entire staff. I said, what do you want to do? If you want to work from home, grab your computer, your phone, everything can be done electronically. And I said, take it home and work from home, we'll figure it out. One person did because their child had no daycare. Mm -hmm. So she yeah. had to go, she, or she wanted to stay. But the rest of them decided they would stay here. We left the doors open for as long as we could. And then after more information came in, I said, you know, maybe we should just lock the doors, sure. but we're staying in the office. I was here every single day, have been since day one. And I just think it's important that the customers know that we're here for them. I have a lot of friends that didn't. They all worked from home. We decided to stay here. It worked out It worked out very well. Payments we could take through the crack in the doors if they had to felt the need to, to come in, and a lot of them do. A lot of people, they get their money and they want to bring it to us mm -hmm. or a check. They're used to their visits. Yeah. But they did pare down after a while, and then we had to put signs up and lock the door for about eh, maybe 10 days. But everything was done through here. And you can still call or do things online as well if, um, if customers are more comfortable with that. That's actually an excellent point because Allstate does, like everybody else, has an app, uh -huh. right? <laughs> and you can manage your own account online, on your phone, through the app, or again, call us up, call us up and, and do it over the phone or come in a person. Okay, Jim, so obviously you have insurance, but there's a little bit more uh, going on over here. What other products and services can we get through Allstate? That's another great question because most people, when we talk about life insurance, they go, Allstate has life insurance? And I'm like, well, yeah, they have life insurance. They've had life insurance since almost the inception. Other things that we help people out is setting up for retirement. That's another thing that people aren't aware of. I have a partner that handles that exclusively. Um, we have every product available that Edward Jones or anybody else has out there. And uh, we also, one of the big things we do is we help people when they leave their job. And right now, a lot of people have left their job. Mm -hmm. And they also left a 401k at that other job. Most people don't understand that, that that 401k is in control of that company. If that company goes bust, they're going to lose their 401k money. So we can help them put that in their name. 
Which again, something I have no idea about, and that is why you come to Jim for your insurance questions. We have one uh, last question for you. Sure. This is from our producer and okay. our camera man, Joel. Uh, how often do you use the Allstate catchphrase? <laughs> <laughs> Well, believe it or not, I, I use it all the time. What's <laughs> on your shirt? <laughs> yes, it's you're in good hands, right? Yes. Um, it's 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 just catchy, and most people actually use it on me. They'll say, "Oh, we're in good hands." I said, "Absolutely." Oh, well, it's a good one. At least you don't have to say something weird. It makes sense at all times. It goes with your logo, and you are in fact in good hands when you're hanging out with Jim. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Jim. Coming up next, we're talking recliners, mattresses, and more right here at Gustafson's Furniture and Mattress, also giving you a chance to win a power recliner. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back.